our beloved viewers, welcome to this English news edition. Here are the top stories. The President of the Republic participating in the virtual summit of a new partnership for Africa's development. First stage of a regional tour of the Press of the National Assembly. On the international scenes, Israeli strike kills at least 100 people and hundreds of injured. Those were the headlines. Thanks for joining us in our newsroom. The President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Mergili, took part uh, this afternoon in the 37th Summit of the Head of State and Government of uh, the AUDA and uh, NIPAD uh, by video conference. Uh, the respectively agency of uh, the new partnership uh, for African development and the African Union Development Agency. Uh, during this summit, uh, a 10 years plan uh, which uh, guide uh, the program of uh, development of Africa is uh, approved. Uh, the uh, creation of uh, the ODA in Nepal is part of uh, the Reform Global Initiative aimed at improving the impact uh, and operational efficiency of the uh, Union. The mandate of uh, the ODA in Nepal is uh, to coordinate an executive uh, priority regional and continental project to uh, promote regional integration with a view to accelerate achievement of the agenda uh, to strengthen the capacity of uh, member state of uh, the Union. The African and regional organization NEPAD has uh, 33 African countries, including five founding countries, uh, which main objective of uh, transforming Africa through the high impact project uh, and demonstrating the proof of, uh, of stability for the translate and continental uh, strategy development framework of the African Union in the national development priorities. In the Khaled region, the president of the National Assembly, Mr. Mohammed Dileta, Mohammed Dileta, is uh, touring in the interior region of uh, starting from the Hill region was uh, the first stop on the third of uh, the press of uh, the National Assembly, Mr. Mohammed Dileta, Mohammed Dileta, uh, which uh, began yesterday, Monday, under the slogan of a uh, citizen's uh, involvement in comprehensive uh, development. Upon his arrival in the capital of the Hill province, uh, the president of the, the National Assembly and his accompanying delegation received a welcome a warm welcome from the high uh, higher authorities of uh, the Hill region, led by the prefect of uh, the Hill region and the head of uh, the regional council, Mr. Mohad Hussein Ahmed, and representative, uh, but also repre uh, representative of uh, the uh, region and parliamentarians, uh, in addition to the high-ranking civilian military figures uh, from the uh, region of the Hill. After that, uh, the president of uh, the National Assembly held an important meeting with the governorate uh, authorities uh, to exchange ideas, opinions on ways uh, to advance development in this uh, region and highlight uh, the importance of uh, this visit to uh, the uh, unity uh, city of Dekhil. Indeed, the delegation went to the headquarters of uh, the regional council in Dekhil to hold a meeting with the uh, president of uh, the regional council in the large conference halls of uh, the regional council and on involvement of uh, citizens uh, in Dekhil region. <laughs> The <laughs> In his speech, the president of the regional council, Mr. Mahad Hussein, 
uh, the representative for uh, hell and his speech in which uh, he welcomed the president for the National Assembly, the late Mohammed the later, uh, to the regional for the hill. He expressed his thank and gratitude uh, for undertaking this tour, uh, which is uh, the utmost importance uh, to the region in order to stand out to a close look at the living condition of uh, the people living in the hill region. During his uh, regional tour, the, uh, the president of the National Assembly, the late Mohammed Dileta, stressed uh, his uh, speech, uh, the importance of communicating with the citizens and col collecting their compliance, uh, uh, which are the primary goals of uh, this initiative. Uh, he expressed uh, that all the recommendations expressed uh, during this meeting are uh, being taken into consideration and uh, carefully the president of uh, the National Assembly, Mr. Dileta, Mohamed Dileta, and uh, the importance of uh, the uh, region as a uh, region of uh, diversity, emergence uh, for uh, its uh, culturally explaining that uh, the closing to s choosing to start uh, this tour in the first uh, stop, uh, the interior region uh, from the president of the National Assembly. Indeed, the president of the National Assembly meet with the civil society in the region within the framework of the regional tour undertaken by the president of the National Assembly, Mr. Dileta Mohamed Dileta. He shared an important meeting with the resident and representative of civil society of the Hill region. This meeting will provide an opportunity for the participating a resident to present their request in compliance to the chairman of the council representative, Mr. Dileta Mohamed Dileta, in presence of the parliamentarians. The ceremony begins with the welcoming words from the governor, from the prefect, and enter the Dileta Mohamed Dileta and his accompanying delegation, and then thanks to the resident of the Hill region for the warm reception. After that, the president of the National Assembly made the inspection tour to the uh, Okar Mineral Waters factory and the public secondary schools in the income and garden of the respected, uh, highlighting the achievement and activities in the file of uh, livestock and agriculture in the region. The prefect of uh, the Hill region, Mr. Hassan Abdi Robla, explained in his speech uh, the importance of uh, the visit of uh, the president of the National Assembly, which uh, aimed uh, to strengthen uh, the uh, citizen, the ties uh, uh, between the citizens and government institution, and to enhance comprehensive development throughout all the region of uh, the country. After that, uh, the president of the National Assembly, Mr. Dileta Mohammed Dileta, uh, met uh, with the elderly and notables uh, from the Hill region, in addition to women. The meeting was held at the prefect's uh, headquarters uh, in the presence of local authorities and parliamentarians representing the region. 
during this meeting, participants had the opportunity to raise a various topic related to development, uh, their areas including implement the employment uh, and uh, road uh, constructions as well as uh, installation of internet network in certain areas and other issues uh, uh, contributed to local development. Also in this occasion, a request were, were will represent to the President of the National Assembly, demonstrating his uh, commitment by listening and responding to all the uh, questions of uh, all the segment of uh, the society of uh, the Khil region. Other news, uh, organized by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation in a cooperation with the Legal Affair of Office uh, United Nations, uh, the, um, this morning, the second session of uh, United Nations Sub-Regional Laws Workshop International East African and Indian Ocean countries. Uh, uh, this training workshop will contribute to uh, the uh, 13 to the uh, live uh, February at the Kampaski Palace Hotel. The Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf, uh, held the, uh, these uh, corporations, uh, uh, Deputy Secretary Generals and Legal Councils of uh, United Nations. This initiative was uh, directed to officials from the ministries of, of Foreign Affairs and other relevant ministries uh, to the connection uh, which is uh, from the French-speaking countries uh, of East Africa and the Indian Ocean, as well as uh, the brotherly countries uh, in France, which is uh, from Burundi, France, Madagascar, Mauritania, Senegal, and Seychelles. For Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation, Mr. Mohamed Ali Yusuf uh, explained uh, the importance of uh, the effort made by the office uh, to contribute to, uh, to its uh, contribution uh, in promoting and disseminating the international laws as a, meaning, as a means of uh, promoting international peace and security in cooperation with the other countries. The region said that uh, this uh, training workshop uh, contribute to the promoting better management of international conflict, effective uh, cooperation between countries, uh, which contribute to the promotion of uh, peace, justice, and human rights uh, are best in the world, conclude the Minister of Foreign Affairs. The Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development uh, received uh, uh, this morning Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir Musa uh, today in his office. Uh, the Somali Minister of Environment and Climate Change, Ms. Khadija, the meeting allowed for the exchange of uh, views and ideas on ways uh, to enhance bilateral relations and cooperation between the two countries the uh, two brotherly uh, countries uh, and the two parties, especially in the areas of environment and climate change. The meeting was attended by the closet aid uh, uh, to the Minister of Environment and Sustainable Development. In an interview with the national television, the Somali Minister of Environment explained her goals on her visit to, to Djibouti. Uh, she said that today I met uh, with the Minister of Environment of Djibouti and discussed uh, the issues of a common interest, especially in the file of environment. I am very happy with this visit uh, and uh, that I made the second uh, country. I love uh, the Republic of Djibouti, and I also thank the Minister of Environment, Mr. Mohammed Abdul Qadir, uh, for his uh, warm reception and hospitality. 
Yesterday, the Minister of Information in charge of Post and Telecommunication received Mr. Rudwan Abdel Bahadun Receive, a Djibouti uh, submarine cable landing station in uh, the Djibouti Data Center in Haramus, the Director General of uh, the Smart Africa Digital Intelligence Foundation. Uh, this, he was accompanied by uh, the uh, Director of uh, Digital Information and Infrastructure Capacity Building at the African Foundation Smarts. Uh, the Smart African Foundation official held a discussion with the, with the Minister of Information uh, in charge of uh, post and telecommunication, Mr. Rudwan Abdel Bahadun. The discussion between the two parties focus on the submarine cable infrastructures in Djibouti and its uh, challenges uh, uh, communication in the region as well as uh, the vision of and goals of uh, the ICT sector in uh, Djibouti. After uh, this meeting, the Director General of uh, the Smart Africa Foundation made an inspection tour of the cable station marines so where they were welcomed by the general manager of uh, Djibouti Telecom. And also during this tour, they were able to follow a visuals uh, presentation about uh, the new commercial expansions uh, operators. The Minister of uh, Digital Economic and Innovation, uh, Ms. Maryam Mohamedou Ali, received in her office a delegation from uh, and shared by the Director General of uh, the African Academy for Digital Intelligence. Uh, this visit uh, came so with the uh, within the framework of uh, the launch of uh, the uh, Digital Academy, an initiative uh, to enhance uh, the skill of digital in Africa. Uh, but also, uh, which is a branch of uh, the Smart African Alliance, uh, which is an alliance that uh, includes uh, 38 uh, countries in uh, Africa, uh, and it is uh, committed to accelerate the sustainable social and economic development of uh, the continent through the use of uh, the ICT and uh, uh, broadband access. Uh, this academy aims to promote digital skills in Africa by offering uh, cross-training internet uh, certificate scholarship and also the uh, mentorship and career opportunity in the sector of digital, the director general of the African Digital Intelligence Organization, and thank uh, the minister for her welcome and cooperation it uh, present uh, the goals and activities of uh, this institution in addition to the benefit of uh, the learners. In her speech, uh, the Minister of uh, Digital Economy and Innovation, Ms. Maryam Hamadou Ali, welcomed the high-ranking delegation from the African Alliance for Digital Intelligence. It confirmed the readiness of uh, Djibouti uh, she confirmed the readiness of uh, the Djibouti government to support uh, the initiative. She also stressed uh, the importance of uh, developing human capital in the digital file, uh, which uh, constitute a level of essential for digital transformation in the country and the continent. The Minister Delegate in Charge of uh, Digital Economic and Innovation, Ms. Maria Mohamed Ali Spencer, the day yesterday, Sunday, at the uh, Center for Leadership and Entrepreneurship, the inauguration ceremony of the first Digital Academy in uh, Djibouti was held in uh, cooperation with the African Digital Academy in the presence of uh, the Secretary General for the Ministry and uh, his uh, Delegation, the Director General of uh, the Center for Leadership and Entrepreneurship, uh, Mr. Abdul Karim Mohammed Hassan, and the President of uh, the Executive uh, Director of African Digital Academy, accompanying delegation, uh, attend for this uh, event in addition to other guests. In turn, the CEO of uh, the African Digital Academy indicate that the uh, digital technical has taken over uh, and uh, taken also the center stage in the current fourth industrial revolutions and financial but also business activities uh, has uh, became a major role.
In his speech, uh, the Minister of Higher Education and Resources, Dr. Nabil um, Ahmed, uh, expressed his satisfaction to participate in this inauguration ceremony of the first digital academy in Djibouti, explaining that uh, his ministerial department is in charge uh, for the special interests uh, in uh, introducing digital technologies into education uh, curriculums and making its uh, priority through the center of excellence, uh, but also in all areas of uh, vocational training. You also add uh, that this uh, digital technologies is a uh, uh, bright headed uh, within uh, when it comes to uh, the strengthening of a public sector privately and uh, indeed uh, in the uh, university, we must uh, collect all these files in one place uh, through the ideas so we put forward in order to improve investment in our country. He also expressed that uh, our country is capable of uh, using digital technologies and moving forward and making it uh, a priority and tools for economic and social development. The Minister of a uh, Delegate in charge of a uh, digital economy in her speech uh, express her satisfaction so, with the launch of uh, Djibouti Academic Digital, which is called Smart Africa Digital Academy. The minister also pointed out that uh, the Djibouti Digital Academy is a wise initiative and a driving force uh, that uh, will make a difference uh, with the educational and vocational scene uh, in our uh, dear country. The minister, Maryam Hamoud, also explained and extended her sincere thank and appreciation to the Smart African Organization and its uh, director general uh, for the uh, strong partnership and unwavering support uh, in achieving this initiative. Today, the head of uh, the port and prison authorities uh, receive uh, a high-ranking delegation of a diploma from Finland, uh, led by the, uh, the International Trade, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Finland. Uh, this uh, delegation uh, consists of uh, the ambassador of uh, Finland to Ethiopia, and also Mozambique uh, and Zambia, Algeria, South Africa, Morocco, Senegal, Kenya, Namibia, Tanzania, Nigeria, in addition to uh, the uh, consul from our country of Djibouti. The, Finnish, uh, the delegation toured uh, various uh, port uh, facilities of the Republic of Djibouti. The delegation also followed a visual representative on a presentation on the strategies location of Djibouti and its economic potential. And to finish, uh, the delegation received a detailed information about uh, the talks uh, and uh, functioning of uh, these part of facilities. Before the officials, the delegation also made a, a third of uh, each uh, port facilities, uh, especially the head of a port of prison authorities, provided an important clarification to the uh, delegation regarding uh, port service and their uh, stage through the advanced uh, modern equipment uh, that uh, facilitate the shipping process, uh, unloading, and also the sea transport models allow the delivery of a good so uh, with uh, uh, Djibouti uh, sea and earth uh, final de destination uh, to uh, cooperate uh, the, and also reduce transportation costs uh, in line. As an extension of its social program aim at improving the living condition of a vulnerable segment of a population society, Al-Rahma, 
uh, society and the state of Kuwait, uh, represented uh, by the regional office in Djibouti, learned uh, last Monday, the 12th of February, the distribution of uh, orphans benefit uh, to place a ceremony for distributing the financial assistance and uh, took place in the celebration of uh, uh, the Hall of uh, Rahma Complex uh, in Balbala in the presence of the head of Africa sectors uh, at uh, Mercy International, uh, but also the director regional officer and uh, the diploma of a Kuwait embassy in Djibouti. Uh, 2,500 orphans, male and females, and families uh, benefited from this uh, batch of uh, benefit, including orphans. They receive a comprehensive sponsorship of a Rahma complex in Djibouti. 2,000 orphans benefit uh, the partial sponsorship outside the community. In uh, addition to 150 needy families, it should be noted that uh, the International Mercy Association has been a concern since its, since its uh, inspections of families with the lowest income to the sustainable development project that contribute to building humanitarians uh, through the construction of a complex a schools, orphanage, hospital, and holy memorization center, in addition to uh, construction project models uh, to the village in which with the uh, strategies of uh, a right of housing foundation established by the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Marghili, with the name of addressing the problems of social housing. In turn, the head of uh, the Africa sector at the Mercy International, Mr. Yusuf uh, Al Tawil, indicated that uh, the office uh, of uh, the association, his regional office in Djibouti, is currently carrying out uh, many activities and programs in conjunction with uh, celebrating the national holidays of the uh, brotherly state of Kuwait. He took uh, these opportunities uh, to praise a strong fraternal relationship that uh, kind the Repub that binds uh, and ties uh, between Djibouti and Kuwait and the state of uh, Kuwait is stressing at the same time the keenness of uh, international mercy society to contribute uh, the effort made by Djibouti authorities uh, to improve uh, the living condition of the most needy families. On the other hand, uh, the uh, International Mercy Society, represented by the office in Djibouti, distributed 250 uh, food baskets for poor families uh, in the municipality of Belbela in close cooperation with the, Mercy, uh, with the Ministry of uh, uh, Social Affairs and Solidarity. This food uh, support consisting of uh, sugars, rice, flour, and oil was distributed in the Wan al Zakat uh, warehouse in Balpala in the presence of uh, the head of Africa sectors at Mercy International and also the technical advisor to the Minister of Social Affairs in addition to the regional director of uh, a Global Mercy Office in Djibouti. It should be noted that uh, providing food baskets for poor families is uh, considered necessary to the poor families so to provide basic food to reduce the financial burdens, improve uh, also the nutrition and support stability and promoting the human dignity. In another matter, Al Rahma Hospital in Djibouti sent a medical uh, convoy in the Merjok uh, district uh, in the Arta region as part of uh, the effort aim at bringing medical service closer to the population, especially in the remote areas. This convoy, which uh, was organized in cooperation and coordination with the Ministry of Health, include uh, specialities, uh, many in uh, children and also internal medicine, brain, the nerves, bones, and addition to surgery, and also the number of uh, women beneficiaries of uh, free medicals, 
uh, consultation and treatment to reach uh, more than uh, 720 in person. It will be noted that uh, the medical convoys carry out a great importance uh, in improving the health care for uh, disadvantaged and remote uh, communities uh, in which uh, plays uh, vital roles in improving health and raising awareness of uh, the health center. After the inspection tour of the National Solidarity Week, uh, which include uh, five regional cities and 11 districts, uh, which uh, was launched by the President of uh, the Republic and implemented uh, by the Minister of Social Affairs and Solidarity, Ms. Sulufa Ismail Abdul shared an important meeting to uh, display this uh, caravan's achievement and social activities in the meeting room of uh, the resort hotels uh, in the uh, white city of Tejura. This meeting took place uh, in the presence of a senior official from the Social Development Agency, in addition to a number of specialties, uh, specialists. Uh, in the file of uh, social activities. During the meeting, the participant reviewed the basic activities of uh, this workshop uh, and week uh, by the head of uh, the Department Solidarity and its uh, team that travel with the uh, uh, minister throughout the country from uh, the forms of uh, this week is uh, which had a greater renaissance with the Djiboutians uh, authorities in the capitals and the interior region, but also the remote areas. And now in Ali Sabiha region, the project threatening of a basic infrastructure and community schools in the uh, village was implemented uh, with the aim of improving the education of uh, uh, children and especially girls uh, in improving the education project. This uh, meeting enhanced uh, the ability of rural people and confront climate change to the support and enhance uh, the productive uh, capacity to the agricultural areas and Assam agricultural farmers groups. Uh, this step was taken after the second coordination meeting which uh, was shared by the governor, by the prefect of Ali Sabih region, the chairman of uh, the regional council, Mr. Sharmaki Hassan, and the participation of uh, the uh, Gul prefect team in the uh, whole of a uh, conference at the uh, Ali Sabih region. And this initiative falls within the framework of uh, the project. Civil participant in the government, in the prefect of the region of uh, al Sabih and local development, uh, which is implemented by the International Association of uh, French-speaking mayors and founding from European Union. The first project aims to make uh, uh, the community schools a center for the community and completing loss of infrastructure, and that's uh, enhancing access to the education and also the children, especially girls, uh, in order to promote equality. A traffic accident occurred on National Road uh, Number 1 near the entrance of uh, the Hill uh, region at 9 uh, p.m. February uh, 8 in the morning. In fact, of uh, semi-trailers uh, uh, transporting goods uh, from Djibouti overturned on the on its right side uh, in the middle road to uh, uh, blocking traffic in both uh, directions immediately. The National Gendarmerie's forces went to the Hill Region Corporation uh, with their colleagues uh, in the file of uh, safety. The Oboch Association established two headquarters with funding from the French Embassy as part of the program to support the association. This association opened two new headquarters in Oboch, and thanks to the funding from the French Embassy, this event was held in the presence of the Ambassador of France and President of the Regional Council. Mr. Mohammed Hamad, in addition to the Prefect of the of Oboha region, Musa Adan Megani, 
the Oboch Association work for women is right and protection and to enhance the living condition of the community and promoting the development of Oboch region. The two projects launched today include creating a local online store and promoting local uh, store capabilities to uh, put you the vital craft uh, store this first of its kind uh, meeting in Obo, the first project aims to improve uh, the means of uh, production and sale of uh, craft, handicraft products in Obo uh, region, mainly uh, the women and girls, in addition steering the project management uh, committee and to store the management committee were established uh, local and to ensure monitoring the sustainability of uh, the action taken by the regional public. And for the international scenes in Rafa Israeli raid leads at least 100 dead and 100 uh, wounded, at least uh, uh, people were killed uh, in Rafa areas surrounding in it uh, the Israeli army raids that uh, begin on Monday morning during the night uh, from Sunday to uh, Monday. The Israeli army carry out uh, a series of uh, violent raids against uh, several peoples of to the areas of Rafa uh, which led uh, to the killing and wounding of uh, dozens of uh, Palestinians including uh, women and children as uh, Israeli uh, worship uh, bombardments of the city and its uh, um, uh, surrounding from the coast of Israeli on Monday call of a United Nations agency to cooperate uh, and evacuate civilian Palestinian from the war zone in Gaza Strip. This is it for this edition. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening.